Hello guys. Well, come back. Long time no see. All right. On this video, I'm not going to show you how to flash Windows 11, but how to flash a GSI image on LG device, the V50, V50TS, GSX. V60, the procedure are the same. This is the LG GRX V50S Windows 11. Sorry, my camera are crazy today. Crushing shutdown Windows something wrong with my camera delay shut down shut up shut down all right the device already shut down first your bootloader must be unlocked unlock it and flash the flash what? Flash the engineering bootloader. This is the engineering bootloader. This file I already uploaded it before. You just watch my previous video how to flash the stock ROM on this P50 and G attack, right? To boot this device to bootloader or fast boot mode, hold the volume minus, connect your cable to the PC, it will boot to fast boot or bootloader. Current slot, slot B. My slot B uh, for Windows. And for Android, I have to switch it to slot A. So on in passport, set active A. I hope you can read. Don't watch using your. No property. I want to resize the phone. Now my phone already switched to slot A. If I restart the bootloader, restart bootloader, it will be back to A. Now it's A. A are for my Android. If I boot to Android, oops, sorry, what happened to my camera? Same to the GRX. Call volume minus, connect cable. Slot B. You always watch which slot active. Just flash the active slot for the GSI for the Windows it depends on your Android which slot active for your Android so flash the uh, UEFI image for Windows on the inactive slot so I'm setting the GRX Oh, sorry. Password first. Set underscore act active A. I'm setting to A. If I restart it, it will be going to Android.
Alright, let me explain the slot. Your Android device slot A slot B in a slot A they are A B L A and slot B A B L B oh I happened to my camera sorry the X B L A X B L B A B L are the bootloader X B L extension for the bootloader because it got so many partition your system I don't want to talk about other system other partition system A this one system B and product product A vendor A VB meta A boot A the boot image this one is product B vendor B B B my B uh, BPTS boot loop <laughs> don't worry B and boot B I hope you can see maybe like that all right this is the slot A one side of partition actually it's on uh, one partition A and B and another partition A and B except the bootloader on a different uh, LUN 0, LUN 1 the numeric alright except one thing it didn't uh, it share only one partition sharing what is it user data partition this partition this system A also using the user data system B also using the user data but when the active partition are A that means all the user data belong to A so the B doesn't have any user data if your system A let's say corrupt the system or vendor uh, corrupted oh sorry for the camera really really sorry it's if it corrupt then your device would loop your system uh, slot B uh, actually the system are the same the B products all are identical except user data because just now your active slot are A the user data are belong to the A slot when your A slot corrupt you have to switch, switch to slot B first format the user data because this user data already belong to A if you format it it doesn't belong to any slot when the slot be uh, starting it boot so all the data will be flashed to the 
user data to slot B. Sorry, just now somebody uh, talking to me. All right. Now you understand the slot A and B. For now, you don't have the windows like me. I got the windows, so this one already put loop. I restart it. Connect the cable, holding volume minus and power button. Alright, release the power button, still holding volume minus. So my active slot are slot A. Ooh. You can curse me because of this camera. Alright. Now slot A. We're going to flash the GSI. I'm not going to flash the custom ROM. Alright. This is a must. You can use your custom ROM vendor image, boot image. You only flash the system image. Your vendor are still using your current uh, current vendor, the active one. If your active one are using the stock LG, better use the custom ROM one because the stock LG your touchscreen will not work with the GSI <coughs> so now my active slot are slot A I'm going to erase uh, the user data fast boot space minus W erasing the user data all right also my beta data also will be erased this is important when you s uh, changing your slot or slot a or slot b or you changing the rom let's say you are on the uh, stock LG you want to use my vendor also can alright we already erased the user data now we are going to erase first put erase underscore my active Android just now slot A just the slot A false boot sorry false boot erase system A I'm erasing the system A on the slot A alright now erasing the product A erase product A product already erased because we need only system after this I'll show you the GSI and I'm erasing my vendor also fast boot Yes, vendor underscore A. All right, my partition B still maybe I don't know what Android version. Now I'm using the A only. We already erased the system product and vendor A. Now I'm going to flash. Oh, so you can uh, erase the boot A. Let's say you don't want your current boot. Fast boot. Erase boot. 
underscore a all right always make sure your active slot let's say uh, your active slot are a the stock lg ui the stock lg firmware you still want to use that one you can use your slot b but make sure you erase your user data use the slot b the function are the same erase the b system erase the b vendor erase the b boot erase the b product your slot a are still stock when you switch to slot a don't forget to format the user data and then switch to slot a <coughs> all right now we're going to flash the gsi image the gsi you can download the link i will give it to you android 14 android 13 is up to you official unofficial project elixir voltage os and one more thing downloading from this uh, github sometime the line very very slow let's say pixel os where is it pixel os under 13 pixel experience this one is under 13 under 13 uh, from github also no okay just download any gsi image just now i already unload the uh, download the android 14 pixel os this one from source force this one faster my download over here this is the uh, pixel os this bb meta you can use your stock bb meta from your android you can back up it or you can get it from the candidate or you can use mine this file I already download, uh, upload to the Google. Alright, now we're going to flash the GSI image. This is Android 14 on my V50S. Check first if I still got the connection. Smash boot. Why? Wrong. Must be spaces there. My device still connected. Now I'm going to flash the GSI. Fast boot. Flash system. Remember your slot that you want to flash. Now I'm flashing to my slot A space and pull the image and enter. I'm using the normal command. I'm not using the command as admin because as admin you can pull the pull any image and drop over here you have to get the path the address for the file on the normal command you can pull and drop this one uh, much better you only need on your system vendor your boot image that's it 
a system and the product are replaced with the GSI image. Now I am flashing the Pixel OS Android 14. This is a treble GSI. I'm sorry if my video a bit longer because I want to explain to you. I hope you understand the slot A and slot B. The most important uh, partition are your user data. That one mustn't be corrupted. If your user data corrupted, you will get a boot loop all the way. Now already flash the GSI because I don't have the boot image. Now I'm flashing the boot. Flash boot to slot A. Now I'm using the 687. This is the overclock. 687 megahertz. This one's 835. Okay, now I'm flashing the vendor. Put flash vendor A. Always A or B. because I'm using the B as my Windows. Actually the B, the system on the B, my B, are still uh, stock LGUI, except the user data <laughs> are different. All right, vendor, still flashing the vendor, because my user data already got another partition another two partition e f s and window this fat 32 this one ntfs format these two partition cannot read by android ntfs android can read and NTFS also Android can read. If your user data are format to NTFS, some uh, recovery can format it to NTFS, then it can read your system only, but cannot read the uh, FAT32. Now, to prevent boot loop, better flash the VB meta image. Fast boot flash space VB meta underscore A. I'm using the A VB meta A. All right, that's it. Finish. Now we can reboot the slot A. Fast boot reboot. The pawn will reboot. Oh. My camera also reboot my lousy connection. Same goes to the GRX. It can use the same I'm restarting power off. Slot A also. Both phones using the same GSI, all the same. So, pass boot. See, 
kalau di pixel fastboot eh, fastboot space minus w erasing the user data start Wi-Fi, 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 connect Wi-Fi. Yeah, hold on. product system product vendor that's it skip I'm not going to log into my Google this one you can skip also This is a GSI. I already test it. All are working perfect. Touch screen. The camera. This is the Android 14 GSI. Now I'm placing it on the G at the GSI image over here. Fast boot. Flash system A actually the camera are okay not bad also Oi, my camera, inside camera problem. Now on the G8X. Flashing the GSI. Let's say you want to change to another GSI because you already flash uh, vendor still using the same vendor your boot image are still using the same boot image only flash the GSI only but make sure you erase or format the user data otherwise it will not boot, boot loop because the user data are sharing <laughs> are shared by the slot A and B chain ROM always erase user data even you use the TDWRP always format the user data unless you update the same ROM to the same slot then you can use the user data because all the system are the same except it was an end update right we already flashed the system now we're going to flash oh sorry must be fast boot first flash boot a space at 7 
Fass Fresswände E After this, I flash the Android 13 on this B50S. Only erasing the system and product only. If you don't flash VB Meta, also not a problem but better flash it in case you put loop fast put flash db meta underscore a pull and drop alright I can restart it By the pawn also you can start it. Start. Now I'm going to flash Android 13 GSI on this uh, V50S power off. Come on camera. What is that? that uh, oh uh, that is a uh, burn in <laughs> connect the cable that's why I don't don't set the brightness too high because this device already for four to five years old you may get the burn in in the LCD alright my active slot slot A open the command I'm going to erase the user data always erase it when you change ROM unless you update it Pass. boot space minus W small letter W or big letter doesn't matter already put to now I'm erasing the system fast put erase system A now product fast put erase A. Vendor, I'm still using it, can be used. Now, my GSI ROM. Where is it? Last time, this one. Project Elixir. Pass. Put. Flash. System. Flashing this GSI to the A. If I got another update, maybe I can overwrite it. Just flash. Same procedure. Maybe we will not have the boot loop. If you boot loop, then format the user data all your data will be gone <laughs> skip skip this one also cannot be skipped mm.
GSX, Android 14, GSI, and uh, V50S. Android 13, older GSI. Maybe you can try other GSI. Evolution X, 114. Downloading from the GitHub really slow. Now flashing the VB meta. Do we need to flash it? Or just reboot it without the VB meta? Let's see. Fast boot to reboot. Without flashing the VB meta on the VBTS. Will it boot? project L0. Sometimes if you boot loop format your user data or flash the VB meta. This project L0 Android 13 and this one Android 14. Unofficial Which one to download? Anyone. It's all the same. You see, downloading from the GitHub really slow. All right. Attack. See the, the the download speed really slow compared to the let's see I want the older one. Nope, it's the same. This one is a slim, this one is a full full GF. It's run from the source boss from the GitHub really slow. Same also. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slow. Two. Change the server. Okay. The USA. Where's the US? Why? US. Let's try the US server. Set up offline. Even the US server also slow. Now, Singapore. Forty hundred kilobyte per second. Hmm. One day to download one file. What the heck? See, going slow. Now, Hong Kong. Normally, from Asia, are uh, slow. Okay. 
never reach megabyte. My internet uh, download speed are uh, 600 megabyte per second. Sheesh. Sweden. It depends on where the file are located. Also, what happened? Really, really slow. The connection. It's okay, you see the download speed 500 megabyte plus. Actually, my speed is 600. The website uh, problem. Skip, skip. This is GSI Android 13, and on this one, GSI Android 14. The speed, the performance are the same because I are using the same vendor. Only the aesthetic, the accessories, the app. This one are more same also. Only maybe the UI are different. All right. I hope. You understand now how to flash the link for the GSI I will include in the description also the file and thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video